safe guys, the Gale here, and today we're going to be on a quick guide on how to make your car a monster. I see a lot of people having issues with tuning, so this is going to be a quick little tuning guide for everyone struggling. As you might have caught there, that's just uh, some stat differences. So, first things first, we've got to buy the shittest shitbox we can find. I managed to find a R34 with an all-wheel drive swap, so uh, you know I'm going to have to go for it. At the moment, with Sakura 2.5 and the mods that we run alongside it, all-wheel drive is the best way to go. It's got an engine misfire, so fuck it, even cheaper. Might as well buy that shit. Looks like it's been stolen and caught up. Beautiful. That's all you need. Right. Now that we've got the shitbox acquired, it's time to fix her up a little bit. Well, and at least get her rogue legal, because at the moment, uh, she's kind of looking like shit. So, we're going to repair the engine. And let's see if we get the little Easter egg from one of the senior devs, Kondai. Oh, there it is. Yep, it's a 10 second car, you know. <laughs> Fast and Furious reference. Too fast, too furious, if you know that one. Right. It's time to make it look a little bit better. Uh, a little bit better. I've sped up this footage for you guys since, you know, everyone's seen this a million times on Night Runners. There's, there's, there's no point in me slowing it down. You're welcome to check out the mod showcase if you've never uh, seen the R34 or the S15 or anything modified. So there we are. Now it is time to touch the handling we're gonna leave the power stock at 276 but we're gonna prototype everything else so you want to max out uh coilovers sway bars uh anti-roll bar links all that good shit oh and make sure you put the race differential in there you don't want to forget that bad boy it makes a world of difference Install the parts, and she is good to go nearly. It's just time for some wheels. Well, semi-slicks really, but, you know, you got to put some bad boy rims on there. I'm going to go with the Nismos because I'm a basic-ass bitch. Throw the semi-slicks on there because it is needed with this car. If you are running a lot of power anyway. If you're keeping it low power, eh, semi-slicks anyway. They're just really fucking good tires to be honest so this is a run uh no tuning stock power at the top right is the f1 menu made by one of our modders that shows you the true stats as the game stats do lie a little bit we'll be able to see the 0 to 60 the 0 to 100 and all the way to 275 kilometers i believe this tops out at yeah tops out right around here so now it's time to do a little tuning, and you guys will notice the difference immediately. We're going to head back to the garage and do some wheel and tire tuning. So you want to select the car, go over to wheels, walk up to the car, and you want to use the button there. So on PC, I think it's Q, but I'm unsure. You'll have to check. So... For tyre profiles, you want to go 0 or 1s, uh, and for all-wheel drive, max out your tyre width, so 285s all around. I've noticed 17 to 20 seem to be the sweet spot. Front spacers and rear spacers matter a lot. They're really important, so anything above 27, I would recommend. Have a, you know, have a feel for it, have a play, but this alone should help you guys out. So, make sure you change it to stretch as well, the tire type. So, we're running 19s, 285s, zero tire profile, and then we're just going to do a little bit of fitment and adjustment. Alright, now, time for some handling parts. So this is where the ride high and the camber come into play. So, when you're running all-wheel drive, you want the camber to be about the same on both sides. I normally run 75 to 115 millimeters ride height, somewhere in between there. And then, yeah, I run three degree, well, negative three degrees all around uh, on this build. I believe I actually did change it a little bit after recording this video just to make it a bit more aggressive. But honestly, this is a great bass tune. 
So yeah, just mess around with the fitment and stuff. Try and get it as you like it, you know. It's about form, function. I know you guys uh, love making your car look good. But if you go too low, you will bottom out into the map and get flung into the atmosphere. So you never want to go too low. Right, quick fitment check. Yeah, she's looking like a beast. So now it's time to take her out, now that she's been tuned, and give her a proper demonstration. So this is full tuning, just without uh, long cut gears. So this is the standard gearbox. That is the limiting factor on this car. But yeah, 100 to 200, 9.2 seconds. 0 to 100, 4.4, top speed's already there. So you can see how much uh, of a difference just tuning makes, just a little bit. It also makes it a lot easier to turn, as I'm going to show you guys uh, later on. But yeah, we're just going to quickly throw in the long ratio uh, gearing, because that was the thing that was limiting us. Throw that bad boy in, throw it in storage. And now, finally, it's time for a test. And we actually get pretty lucky here. We managed to get a crew battle as soon as when we leave the garage. So, we're gonna be able to see a stock GTR versus whoever is challenging me. So here's with the long cut gears. You'll notice the acceleration up to uh, 100 is slower. But after that point, it's faster. I think it's 8 point something seconds. Yeah, 8.04 seconds. And with this tune, even though it's not super aggressive, you're able to take the bridge pretty much flat out. You can hold that shit and it's fine as long as you don't go backwards into the side of a truck. This tune tops out around 312, but that's not the correct top speed. That's uh, the in-game top speed. I think it's 270, according to the F, uh, F1 drag mod made by a member of our community. Mods are all in, uh, mod links are all in the Discord, by the way, guys. If you need help, feel free to drop me a message and I will, uh, I will assist you. So you really just don't need horsepower to win races. This is a stock R34 all-wheel drive. We've got, what, 276 brake horsepower... 200 and something talk. So, we're against the sub boss Sonny, and you know, you'd expect with Gem's AI fixed that this man is gonna absolutely cook me. But, he let me choose the map, so of course I'm gonna choose Tunnel Rats, as I am a ratty guy myself. And I'm about to annihilate him. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Uh, the tune is really all that matters. Yeah, the, wind, the windscreen's a bit broken on this one. Some GTRs come like that. If you get a grade 5, then it's fine. But yeah, that all-wheel drive launch, even though I've got, you know, stock engine, stock horsepower, it doesn't matter. And then he's 194 meters or 183 meters, and it goes all the way to nearly 400 meters. But then just as I slow down for the corner, you can see him gaining on me, and then you get back to the straight, and yeah, that's pretty much the race. That's pretty much all I see of Sonny, I think, for the entire race. This isn't my cleanest run on Sun or Rats, but I'd say it's a decent time for a, uh, a stock car, anyway, stock engine-wise. You know, aside from me uh, skimming the side of trucks, etc. But yeah, this is what I mean by uh, I'd like some harder AI, because... This car has 276 brake horsepower. I mean, yes, it is all-wheel drive, but I feel like he should be gaining on me a little bit, you know? Just a little bit. You gotta really slow down for this corner and try and chase the middle line. It is a bastard to get right. That's why I throw it down into second gear, bounce it off the rev limiter, and then I press F1 here. This shows you the uh, drag stats, so the actual realistic stats. So you can see the 0 to 60, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. This car doesn't actually reach 300 kilometers an hour without uh, without any engine performance mods, so we don't have a time for that. 
But yeah, this is this is it. Sunny's nowhere to be seen, sadly. I mean, I kind of wanted a, a nice little cheeky race. But he is gone, my guy. Nowhere to be seen. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is a quick tuning guide on how to tune any car, all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive. I'd be happy to make a dedicated rear-wheel drive tuning guide, as it is a little bit different due to tire whips and, uh, you know, you can have 325s in the back, but you can use smaller tires in the front to make it a bit more nimble and nippy. So yeah, if you guys want to see a rear-wheel drive tuning guide, uh, I'll be sure to make it and post it. Like, dislike, subscribe, comment, do whatever you guys want to do. Join the Discord, hit the notification bell and all that.